of course, we reuse our boosters and fairings here at SpaceX because reusability is a key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, which enables more investments in critical scientific research. Again, the Falcon 9 first stage supporting today's mission is about to perform this entry burn for the 17th time. Great views of the coast of California beginning to come onto your screen now. Stage one entry burn. Confirmation of entry burn startup. On your screen right now, you have two views of our first stage, one from our onboard camera on the left, and on the right-hand side, you can watch that landing as we come back toward landing zone four at Vandenberg Space Force Base. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. Stage Confirmation one, of entry FTS burn end. Saved. The Merlins on board the first stage are optimized for sea level. These achieve about 190,000 pounds of thrust during both ascent and descent, while the MVAC engine is optimized to operate in space, well, producing 220,500 pounds of thrust in vacuum. Coming up next, we'll shut down our MVAC engine on the second stage, followed quickly by our landing burn on the first stage. And as a reminder, we are targeting a land landing at landing zone four at Vandenberg Space Force Base today, which is just west of our launch pad. Stage, stage one, transonic. Stage two, FTS has saved. Beautiful stage views there. Stage one, landing burn. And confirmation that we have begun our landing burn. We're now waiting for Falcon to land back at landing zone four. Stage one, landing leg deploy. And there you have it. Stage that one, landing SpaceX's 250th recovery of an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. While the mission isn't over just yet, as a reminder, we won't be showing any second stage views today, and therefore we're going to end our coverage here. All of us at SpaceX want to give a big thank you to our customers, including Korea, Space BD, CTIL, Deorbit, York Space Systems, and Planet IQ for entrusting us with today's mission. For those of you interested in learning more about today's payloads and deployments, please head over to our customers' websites for more information. We also want to give a shout out to the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's launch. Thanks to all our viewers for tuning in and for your continued support. We'll see you again soon.